Hello, today I will be demonstrating our WebLogic server on Kubernetes CI CD deployment. All the material that I will be demonstrating and talking about today has been released. This is our safe harbor statement. This will be a three part demo. The first part of the demonstration will be introspecting an on premise domain. The second part will be showing taking that domain and deploying it in Kubernetes. And then the third part will show making updates to the application and the domain configuration on that domain that is running on Kubernetes. Part one, introspecting the on-premise domain using the WebLogic deploy tool. The tools that I will be using mainly for the automation of the CI CD deployment are the WebLogic Kubernetes operator, the WebLogic deploy tooling, and the WebLogic image tool. WebLogic Kubernetes operator, which manages the lifecycle of WebLogic domain in Kubernetes. The deploy tooling, which allows users to migrate their on-premise domain and applications into Kubernetes and manage that domain configuration and deployment of their applications. And then image tool, which allows us to create, patch, those WebLogic images. Today I'm going to demonstrate the model that we call Domain Home and Image. It consists of a Docker image that has an OS layer, the JDK or Server JRE, the WebLogic binaries, the domain configuration, and applications deployed to that domain. The WebLogic domain is represented in a Kubernetes object called the domain custom resource. The domain custom resource represents the desired state of how we want to run the WebLogic domain in Kubernetes. The operator is a controller that is always looking at the domain custom resource and makes the actual running state of WebLogic match the desired state. In order to create that domain custom resource, we start with a YAML file that defines the desired state. When we invoke kubectl apply, passing in that domain YAML, that creates the domain custom resource. The operator, when it sees that domain custom resource, it stands up the WebLogic domain to match the definition from the domain custom resource. The first tool that I'm going to be talking about, which is part of our CI CD deployment is the WebLogic deploy tool. The WebLogic deploy tool can be used to introspect an on-premise domain. The versions of WebLogic that it can introspect can go all the way back to 10.3.6, 12.1.3, or it can be a 12.2.1 domain. When it does that introspection, it will create two files. One is what we call the WDT model YAML. That is a YAML model of the domain configuration and it creates also an application archive. Then you can invoke the WDT create tool to then create that domain either in a Docker container or on a persistent volume in Kubernetes. After WDT discover tool is invoked and the introspection happens, you can take the WDT model, you can validate it, you can change it in order to match the deployment in Kubernetes. Then you can invoke the WDT create to create that domain configuration either in a Docker image or on a persistent volume. The domain WDT model YAML contains the domain configuration with placeholders for property values so that a user can define in a domain properties file different values such as domain name, credentials, the name of, of the servers, maybe ports, etc. The first thing I want to do is I have a non-premise domain. Uh, I'm running the admin server. So this is my on-premise domain which is running on my local box. You can see I have uh, two dynamic clusters. One has five managed servers, the other one has a max of two. I also have a deployment on-prem demo which is targeted to both clusters. I also have 
a generic data source. And you can see the properties there. So I will be invoking WDT Discover to introspect this domain and create a YAML model as well as an application archive containing the binaries of the application that you just showed. The scripts invokes the WebLogic Deploy tool, Discover Domain. You pass in the Oracle home. You pass in where your on-prem domain is. And then the names of the model file, archive file that WDT will be creating. So let's invoke. So WDT now is going to the on-prem demo domain and is introspecting and it will be creating two files as the output of this run. One is the YAML model of my on-prem domain and the other is an application arc. Let's take a look at the model YAML. My on-prem domain, you can see that I have uh, two clusters the admin server, the server templates, the machines, I have my security configuration, my data source, and then my application deployed to both clusters. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to modify this YAML model so that I can run it in Kubernetes. There are certain features of WebLogic that are not supported when running in Kubernetes. One of them is the node manager. Lifecycle, the the high availability of the servers, the starting and shutting down the servers is a responsibility of the operator instead of the node manager. So the first change I'm going to make is I'm going to remove any entries related to the node manager. Now I need to replace the fix me's with actual properties for my credentials. So the way that you do that password. Let's copy this because we're going to use it in more than one place. So I look for the next fix me. And then here is going to be a property that will represent the database password. Okay, let me save this. So I have a domain properties where I define those values that I have replaced as properties in the YAML model. So I have my DB password and my WebLogic credentials. Make sure to watch the next demo, part two, running the introspected WebLogic domain in Kubernetes.